Hello buddies, today I am going to continue my 5S lesson for Android. Today I am going to show you how to connect it 5S database on your Android app. I am going to start a project in Android Studio. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and click bell icon for retro my new videos. This is my channel and you can see uh, my videos for firebase set up firebase for android and firebase analytics you can watch it i'm going to start a new android project Fine. Now I am going to get uh, SHA-1 for this project. Click the square button and click refresh. In this uh, project name folder and inside this task folder and inside this android folder you can see this sign in report double click that in this gradle console you can get uh, sha1 here this one okay now i'm going to add this project on 5s okay i have created a project here already for my previous videos you can visit this uh, console by searching firebase console if you're going to add a new project you can add it here project name by selecting that in this I'm going to add uh, app in this project add firebase to your android app and we have to give our correct package id go to your gradle script and go to your build gradle copy this application id If you want, you can give uh, your application name. If you going to going to add uh, another app in this project, download this Google services dot dot json file and open it open folder and remember name should be google slash services we score uh, now i'm going to read my previous file and i'm going to rename this to google slash uh, services now continue copy this apply plugin code open your module cradle and paste it below and copy this class path In Project Gradle, 
you have to paste it here and click finish on your privacy now I'm going to pick learn more button for database click Android setup copy this compile code for dependencies and paste it in dependencies well okay and go to this install the firebase sdk link you have to copy this and paste it on project rail inside this old project and below the day center call method okay click sign now it will be assigned to that now I'm going to add some data in our database so click get database in Firebase I have uh, added some data before I'm going to delete it and I'm going to add sample data here Ashin Shankar okay now I'm going to preview this uh, value in our Android tab change the layout to variety layout and button I'm going to add the button but content and taxis get value and I'm going to add the sum label Now I'm going to add the ID for our button. And text ID. In Java class, I'm going to type some values. this button connect dot set on click listener new on click listener it added uh, now 
I'm going to introduce text result also. Now I'm going to do a job. First, private database references and variable name. Okay, and let's do this. Is first child name sample, and there's no more child children, and only value is there. So mref equals Firebase database. So uh, Firebase database get instance and get references dot child. What is our child name? It is sample. Okay. Uh, now mref dot add value listener uh, new value listener we can get a uh, value directly by this method okay text result dot set text data snapshot dot get value to string and let's run this um, pixel API I am sure this will not work because uh, I will show you what's happened here look it is not working what's the issue look uh, you can see rules button here rules tab and let's see what's happened uh, thing is this we can't get value uh, that mean we can't read without uh, uh, signing into or registering this application as you do you know Firebase authentication. We will talk about that in future, near future. Uh, so use user is not null here. We can't read. So I'm going to change some rule. This read to if uh, or I a user is empty, user can read. Okay. Let's see what's up okay let's work thank you guys uh, i will get you uh, in next video